Warning, the following Think Piece episode will contain mature content video-wise and discussion-wise. Also contains a very heavy opinionated stance about the alt-right and members of the alt-right organization. So if you find yourself getting offended by that, or if you find yourself getting offended by this video, or if you're an alt-right member yourself and you find yourself offended at all, I'm sorry, I don't know what to tell you. You can turn back, you can ignore this video, you can watch the other Think Piece episodes, or you know, you can just go about your merry day and we can continue on. I just want to get that warning out for those who are watching this video, as the video does contain mature content, whether you're watching the video or looking at the gameplay. So, with that being said, folks, let's get right into Think Beast Episode 4 as we have a heavy discussion. Cue them. What is going on, everybody? Demi Guy Reviews here. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, before I get started this video, guys, I just got to tell you that I am sick. I do have a cold right now. My throat hurts kind of. It's just looking all types of bad, but I still promise to get this thing piece video out to you guys because I care about you guys. And I know you guys have been waiting for some content besides Bruce in the back wall. So let's just jump right into it. It's been a heavy month for October when it comes to everything news to central and, and one of the hottest commodities of this this month was loot boxes. Loot boxes and Wolfenstein and the alt right. But before we touch on Wolfenstein, and really get down to the nitty gritty on that let's talk about the loot boxes because that has been like one of the hottest hottest things of october so far like a lot of people have had something to say about shadow of war we've seen patents come from activision we've seen all types of things from loot boxes currently is it ruining gaming is gaming about to go down the pipeline is gaming going down the drain because of loot boxes is loot boxes the next biggest thing is loot boxes here to stay here to go well let's talk about it how do I feel about loot boxes? Loot boxes are cool. They're they're okay. I like how Overwatch does it. You can either pay for it or you can just earn it by simply leveling up. And with Overwatch, you can continue to level up and level up and level up and level up and level up. And you know, earn loot boxes that way or play the uh, the special events they always have going on around that time in the arcade mode where you can at least earn three loot boxes a day or three loot boxes a week and earn it that way instead of you know just having to continuously buy them but there is a dark side to loot boxes as we must know there is an always just a simple way to get loot boxes i know people like to unlock their loot boxes pretty easily and just simply you know buy them and not have to waste time playing the game and that does kind of put a dark side to things because if you look at call of duty and uh how people have just been buying loot boxes and buying uh, keys and buying the keys repeatedly just to get that one new weapon that they want DLC wise. <clears throat> it has put a lot of negativity towards what loot boxes come and do and what they really stand for. And it isn't just Call of Duty. Let's not just put it on Call of Duty. You have games like FIFA and Madden with Ultimate Team and you have 2K with VC and you know their little car simulation trading game. You know a lot of stuff has come from these like modes where you have to like basically gamble away just to try to get something from it this is why we see more of a negativity with loot boxes because of stuff like this we see it because people are continuously buying these instead of trying to earn them sometimes the game won't really let you earn them like that and you have to really just find the shortest way to get what you want or get that certain character for that team or get that certain gun that you want for the game loot boxes can be done in a way where it doesn't have a negative backlash or a negative effect but certain people aren't trying to do that. Or certain people don't want to waste their time playing the game. Or certain people want to follow up and just play the game the way they want to play the game. Um, we've had a lot of backlash this month from Shadow of War having loot boxes. I personally, I don't see the point for this game particularly having loot boxes as it is a single player game. Now, I've seen how they handled it. And I've seen what they went for with the loot boxes in this game. Where you can, you know, take out enemies, online characters or fix the online vendetta or uh you know just help them out and earn loot box that way now i've seen people can say oh you can't beat shadow war without you know having to buy loot boxes or you can't finish shadow war without having to at least purchase one of loot box which isn't true i've seen people play the game and get through the game without having to purchase a single loot box now they may have earned them during their online vendettas or they may have earned them doing something else but a lot of people seem to be like sadly mistaken and say that you have to do this or you have to buy this or you have to get this or earn that no you don't really have to buy a loot box in the shadow of war i know the stigma is currently that shadow of war isn't getting bought because of the loot box 
addition in this game, but a lot of people tend to not know that you really don't have to buy that. However, I will say, if I see many more games trying to follow up on the loot box skills single player wise, it will put a bad taste in my mouth. Because I feel like single player games really shouldn't have loot boxes if you aren't a multiplayer game and there isn't a free way to earn them. Because I'm not going to buy gear and loot for a single player game where it shouldn't be in to begin with. Like, I shouldn't see any, sing any single player game where you're giving me loot boxes or ask me to buy loot boxes or even think about buying loot boxes. Because really, that shit needs to be a no-go. Now, one thing I do want to touch on on the loot box scale is Activision having a pattern to merge together the players who don't have loot boxes and players who buy these loot boxes and DLC weapons. I personally feel like that shouldn't even be a thing. That shouldn't be done. I feel like that's already been implemented as well to where we see that in COD games like Infinite Warfare and Black Ops 3. We've seen this. I don't think it's a pad that they just came up with. I think we've seen that in action now. It's just finally unraveling itself to be a part or somebody found out and said something about it. <laughs> I personally feel is that we shouldn't even have this. That's unfair to new players. That's unfair to players in general. We don't have the DLC weapons. And we have to just see that, you know, just get watched by people who, you know, spend bread flipping and flipping and flipping these loot boxes and these these cod boxes just to get the brand new weapons i feel like that's unfair i feel like that shouldn't even be a thing i feel like activision is really trying to implement some type of feature to where they want you to spend more money and let's be honest we buy these games for 60 dollars 65 dollars 63 to 6397 tax depending on where you are and they want us to buy more things spend out more money drop more items we're spending damn near at least over a hundred dollars for the regular game and then we got about a dlc what could be maps single player stuff all types of things and then they want us to invest more money by buying loot boxes instead of just giving us the easier way to earn them they're trying to milk us off for the entire money they're trying to milk us off for all of our money and really just give us no option to really do things i understand that they see free to play doing this type of thing and making it work but this isn't the option that you guys should be taking as developers if you want to get your money back some kind of way yeah you do your dlc and we can invest in that but you have enough try to invest and flip uh these loot boxes and spend more and more money in which we've seen people do it from 2k to man to fifa hell we've seen this happen a long long time ago so we can't say that this is something new but we they're trying to make us spend more and more and more and more just to get back an investment on that game if the game is good we'll invest on it period but you can't say that that you want us to invest even more in that but how do you guys feel about this comment section how do you guys truly feel about the loot boxes is it something bad for you guys do you guys dislike it do you feel like loot boxes should go do you feel like loot boxes is the downfall of gaming currently is it just another trend that's on a popular way that'll get died down in a little bit where nobody really be talking about it like that or do you feel like this is here to stay this is here to be here for a while and then it just get worse down the pipeline let me guys know your thoughts and talk about it what do you guys really think about loot boxes and in the state of gaming currently now let's get to the more delicate topic of this video the more controversial topic the more topic that offends some people but hey we gotta go in we gotta talk about it let's talk about wolfenstein and the alt right now if you guys don't know wolfenstein had a slogan the online slogan they had a marketing trailer where they said make america nazi free again if you guys don't know what wolfenstein is about it's about bj blaskowitz saving the day for america killing nazis doing everything we're supposed to be proud supposed to be american supposed to be nazi free yada 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 well some people are taking offense to that because a the uh the marketing trailer said make america nazi free again that was very close to donald trump's make america great again and some of the all right members felt very very offended by that you had pete hines of vp of pr at bethesda make a statement that says wolfenstein has been a decidedly anti-nazi series since the first release more than 20 years ago we are going to shy away from what the game was about high and soul game industry biz we don't feel that it's a reach for us to say that nazis are bad and un-american we are not worried about being on the right side of history here now first off before i started with my opinion i just want to say go bethesda you guys 
you guys are really, really, you know, following through. Very great time to actually market that. Very good time to actually follow through with like, the statement like that. You guys have my props, my respects. Hats off to you guys for even going that far and taking it that deep and actually tying it in with real world association currently. If you guys don't know, and for some of you that may be a little, you know, not always paying attention to the news, back in August, we had some things going down in Charlottesville, North Carolina, where, or Charlottesville, Virginia, I don't know. It's, it's Charlottesville, that's much I don't know. We had some guys down there with tiki torches, a lot of Nazis, a lot of all right guys, a lot of dudes that were just, you know, on the bad side of things, doing some pretty bad shit. Those guys were evil they did disgusting things very disgusting racist things uh, just all types of bad you know I, I give a nod to Bethesda for staying true to their guns sticking with you know going against the all right because let's be honest if you have, if Wolfenstein has been here for quite some time and it's always been about killing Nazis first you know saving the world destroying the German armies all of that kind of stuff so if you feel like you're offended now because what's going on I gotta be honest with you, man. You, you, you might just be an all right, and that means you might just be racist, and that might mean you just might be one of those those guys. You know, I'm trying to be politically correct. I'm trying to be open. I'm trying to be honest, but I, I gotta be honest with you guys. If you feel like you're offended, if you feel like <clears throat> it's a problem that Bethesda is doing this, that Bethesda is approaching this and using that slogan, using that for a campaign for Wolf of Sign, you know, you might just be one of those alt-right guys, you know, and you're being honest here, if you are, then you're the problem. There's a lot more to be offended about in the world currently, there's a lot more to be upset by than a game where the marketing slogan is being right <clears throat> and being on the good side of things and not being racist, not being evil, not being a scumbag, not being a problem, you know? I can't believe people are actually offended by this. People are upset by this. How can you be upset by this? This is something, this is a, a series, a game that's been out for decades. We've had the first one back, I don't know, back in the 80s, 90s, I don't know. But this has been out for a while. I mean, my first Wolfenstein introduction was on one of those older titles, and we moved forward to Wolfenstein in the territory, and then we had plenty of other Wolfenstein games dropping. But you can't be offended by this. Unless you have some type of ties or association with the alt-right. Let's be honest. If you're a part of the alt-right and you're just a problem, you're the problem, the part of the problem in the world. There's no if ands, no sugarcoating, no buts about it. You're a part of the problem that's currently going on in the world today. With racism. We're trying to make this whole America pure thing again. With being just another piece of the issue that keeps America down, period. Now, I'm not some proud patriot. I'm not some super American kind of guy. But this is something super silly to be upset at if you're associated with this crew or if you're part of the all right. Because this is something that could genuinely just be ignored. But no, certain people have decided or a certain group of people have decided to be extremely offended about this. And, you know, we have people that went to Twitter that went against Bethesda that took away you know, a lot of negativity behind this. People saying they're canceling their pre-orders, they weren't buying a the game, they want to support this. I think that shows much more about you than it does the game itself. That shows much more about the person that you are currently, the person that you're becoming, or the person that you're trying to become, more so than, you know, you're offended about the game slogan. You say that Trump's, you know, they took it as, you know, Trump supporters are Nazis, or some people, you know, got very upset about this this message this this is something so silly so stupid to be upset about and if you feel like you're upset about this or you're offended about what's going on which a lot of people genuinely miss the message in that statement but if you feel like you're genuinely upset about this and grow up and, and let that hate out your heart because that's getting you nowhere period and that will never get you anywhere because honestly, you're just a scumbag and you don't want to change to make the world better, period. So if you ain't trying to improve or trying to make yourself better in that, in that regards, and I don't honestly know what to tell you. Just let that hate out your heart and uh, we can go on from there. But 
that's a long ways to go and it seems like the world does not want to do that but i guess we just got to deal with what we can deal with yes that's it for think peace folks tell me what do you think about the loot boxes what do you think about wolf society all right i apologize for this episode being so late i announced this like a long time ago but i got caught up in the world so i apologize guys i have plenty of bruising the backlog and reviews coming up i have a review on life is strange episode 2 i have a review on ruiner i have a review on mystic bell coming up i have a review on shadow tactics i have reviews for a lot of game coming up a lot of games so be on the lookout for that i will be starting up assassin's Creed origins i will be finished with south park so that will have a review as well but share me your thoughts folks what do you think about Wolf the all right what do you think about what do you think about the loot boxes situation? What do you think about all of this? You know, share your comments in the comment section below. Go check out any of my recent links. Go check out my first ever podcast. Yes, folks, this is my podcast where we talk about all things Arcadia Bay and Life is Strange. We discuss what we think about is between me and Sorry 0079. Episode 2 will be coming soon after we both play and both knock out episode 2 for Life is Strange. So, yes, folks, just give us some time. We're working on that. Well, folks, tell me what do you think about loot boxes, Wolfenstein, the alt right, and all of this. Share your thoughts in the comment section below. Go check out any of the links. Follow me on my Twitch and Twitter. And I'll see you next time for the next video, guys. And as always, before you close out anything, we'll tune in, turn up, and throw down. Ouch, that hurt. And I thank you guys for watching, and I'm out.